we're going to be showing you here a beautiful house. It is uh, 9,000 square feet um, in the center of a 92-acre farm. Uh, the house was beautifully placed in the middle of this farm to give you some privacy, yet you're only about three minutes drive from town, so you get the best of both worlds. Right here, you're looking at the uh, three-car garage. We also have etched concrete here in a triangular pattern. We're going to do a little stroll through the backyard just a little bit, but later on we'll get a chance to look at that again. All of this stone has been hand laid. We're walking here now into the back porch. This is a covered porch here. You'll see a barbecue machine and all that. Uh, uh, but the covered porch is completely uh, away from the rain. So you can grill anytime you want. A little panoramic scan of the back. This porch is made out of composite material. It's a gray color. Composite is great because you never got to paint it again. So it's maintenance free for life pointing to all of the paver stones here. That's a central uh, blueberry bush. We get about five gallons of blueberries off that bush every year. Again, a little scan. Raised beds for vegetable gardens. Okay. That's a four foot waterfall with a 65 foot river that runs through the back of the garden to give a nice tranquil appearance to the to this growing garden. It's, it's a work in progress. This is a shot of the back of the house. And we see it again here from another angle. Again, there, this is the back part of the river, so you can see the course of it a little bit better. We're going to walk up to the back of the porch and, and go through the house a little bit. different types of stonework here to try to give some contrast rather than all of it being identical. As you notice the back of the house is like 90% glass so it gives it a very good uh, morning sun. This is the front of the house. We're going to go into the house through the front door. We're walking along the circle driveway and we're going to walk up through the front porch. You see the columns. What the owner tried to do here was have a southern look on the outside of the house, which is a classic look, but the inside is going to be very, very modern. The porcelain tile on the outside of the porch to give a little bit of a chic appearance. All right. When you walk in through the foyer, You'll see a spiral staircase there. That is a four foot wide solid oak spiral staircase that's stained cherry to match the floor. That is a four foot inlay of the world the globe that's inlaid into the hardwood floor, seamless. It was imported from France with different types of woods to give a good contrast so that you can see different continents. To the right, we'll have a dining room, which we'll look at again in a bit, and to the left is a library, pointing to the wainscot, and the 12 inch moldings, and again the spiral staircase that goes upstairs. There is a uh, wrought iron bird cage, uh, bird cage wrought iron on all of the spindles to give a classic look. To your left there, that's the um, access to the to the basement. Here you get a look of um, the 20 foot ceilings in the foyer with, with a huge chandelier. It's a 12 bulb chandelier, stainless steel. That's the access to the basement again, minus the baby gate of course. We're gonna first walk into the kitchen and the informal living room. We have, uh, this is a restaurant style kitchen. The back uh, island is meant for cleaning and the front island is for cooking. Two ovens, two convection ovens there inset into the cabinetry. All the cabinetry is custom made for the house. Nothing is prefabricated. Ceilings, there's 10 foot ceilings throughout the house. 
All these countertops are solid, uh, solid surface Corian countertops. What I'm showing you here is a sliding glass door that separates the dining room from the kitchen so that you can pass food in that through for big meals like Thanksgiving and all that. This kitchen has two dishwashers and a uh, trash compactor. Just to add a little elegant touch, we put lighting in the center island here. I'm going to walk towards the pantry, which is the back part of the kitchen. Excuse the mess. This pantry is absolutely huge. You can have enough food in here to last you for about three years. You may never use all the space, but hey, more space the merrier. Good. And right behind us, we're going to be walking into the, uh, to the laundry room. There's also another bathroom right here, a half bath. Anybody who buys a house does not get the, the toilet for potty training. Here you get a chance to see as well the informal living room um, where you can cook and have friends over for a wine party or whatnot so that you're always part of the, of the scene rather than just going off and being left, the cook is usually left alone, but not in this house. This is a six burner commercial uh, style cooktop, gas, propane, wine cooler. You might notice that you can't see any garbage cans because they've all been made into the individual cabinets. So that, uh, that unsightly mess never has to be seen. We have a double refrigerator, stainless steel, freezer on the bottom. Each one is 26 cubic feet, so lots of refrigerator space. Breakfast nook you see over here. I'm going to walk over towards the breakfast nook now and, uh, and show you that. You know, Obviously you can see the back garden. And we have a full coffee and tea station over here that's plumbed separately and all of the uh, things that you would need for making lattes and such are all at your access right here. In the living room itself, you see that the back wall is 90% glass. Great, great morning sun here. Great for reading. And this is a TV. This is a 50-inch TV that's above the fireplace. This fireplace is a see-through fireplace from the formal and the informal living room. So you'll get a chance to see that again in a second from the other room as well. Again, for entertaining, what we have is seating all around the cooking station. We're going to walk into the uh, dining room to give you a chance to see this. This is a buffet and hutch. Again, moldings, 12-inch moldings all around, even through the curved arch spaces. French doors are throughout the whole house, and even double French doors coming into the dining room and into the library, and we'll see the library in a bit. This table seats 10 people for big meals like Thanksgiving. I'm going to back out through, through these French doors here and just go on the other side so you can see the library. Now this library is every man's dream. The moldings in here were stained rather than painted and the ceiling is a darker color along with the walls being darker to give you a real good uh, library feel like in a, in a big university. Oh, again you see the curved moldings that are stained. My favorite part of the house. We'll walk through the center.